traders. So in this video, I'm revealing the best strategies that you can use with the Super Trend Indicator. If you're still a new trader and you want to find a very simple indicator that not only tells you the direction of a trend, but also gives specific buy or sell signals that you can just follow immediately, then the Super Trend is the perfect indicator for you. So a good thing about this indicator is that not only it's very simple to use, but it's also a very good indicator because the super trend is based on the ATR. So that means the indicator generates signals not only based on the momentum, but also the current volatility of the market. And before we continue, if you have any suggestions for future videos or just questions about trading, you can drop them in the comments below. I'm still a small channel, so I'll still have time to read and reply to all of the comments. So without further ado, let's continue with the video. So, if you open the Super Trend Indicator, this is what it looks like. A single line that switches from green to red and vice versa. And how you use it is pretty self-explanatory. If the line turns green, meaning you take a buy position. And if the line turns red, meaning you close your previous buy position and open a new sell position. But there's actually one big problem if you use the strategy this way. Because the super trend indicator is constantly giving out signals non-stop. So when you're using this indicator, there are no times where you don't take any positions. It's either you are forced to take a buy or sell position. There are no stops. So this can be a huge problem. Because if you're a trader, you need to know that the market isn't always trending. The market can also go in a range. So because the super trend is constantly showing signals non-stop, meaning it will also show signals when the market is on a range. Like in this example, you can see that the market was on an uptrend and the super trend displayed a buy signal. And now, you see that the trend had already ended and the market went flat. But the problem is, because the super trend is always giving signals, it displayed a sell signal even though there wasn't any trend. So what we need to do is filter out these range markets so that we only take signals from the super trend if the market is actually trending. This is how you do it. First, you need to put three super trend indicators. The first indicator value you need to set it by 3 and 12. The next one, you set it as 1 and 10. And the third one, you set it as 2 and 11. So the way we use this super trend strategy is by only taking positions if all the lines are in the same color. For example, in this chart, we can see that the bottom line turned green, but the other two lines are still red so you don't want to take positions yet. Next, you can see at this point, all the lines turned green, and this is where you want to take a buy position. Let's look at another example. In this chart, we can see that the top line turned red, but the other two lines are still green, so you don't want to take any positions yet. Next, you can see all the lines are now colored red, so this is where you want to take a sell position. And for our exit signal, there's actually a lot of ways you can do this. The first one is set a take profit or stop loss. So you close your position if your trade reaches a certain amount of profit or losses. Another way is if the color of the lines no longer matches. Like in this example, we can see that the color of the lines are all green. So you take a buy position. Next, you can see that one of the lines switches to a red color. And now that the lines no longer matches, this is where you want to close your buy position. The next strategy that I personally use when trading the super trend indicator is by combining it with another indicator such as the 200 EMA. So because the super trend can be used to detect short to medium term trends and the 200 EMA line can be used to detect longer term trend, that is why these two can be the perfect combination. For this strategy, 
I'm using the default settings of the Super Trend Indicator. This is how you trade the strategy. So you only take buy signals from the Super Trend when the price is above the 200 EMA line. And you only take sell signals from the indicator if the price is below the 200 EMA line. Let me give you an example. In this chart, we can see that the Super Trend gave a buy signal, but the price is still below the 200 EMA line. So we don't want to take positions yet. Once the price crosses above the 200 EMA line, while the super trend is still colored green, that is the time where you want to take a buy position. And you close your trade here, when the super trend turns red. Let's move on to another chart. You can see that the super trend indicates a sell signal. But the price is still above the 200 EMA, so we don't want to take positions yet. Now, once the price is below the 200 EMA line, while the super trend is colored red, that is where you want to take a sell position. Next, you can see that the super trend turns green, so this is where you want to close your position. Another strategy that you can combine with the super trend is with the Kumo Cloud. So the Kumo Cloud is basically just an Ichimoku Cloud indicator that you disabled all the parts except the two lead lines. And I'm also going to change the color so that it's easier to look at. So now we have the Kumo Cloud. The rules of the Kumo Cloud is very simple. If the price is above the Kumo Cloud, you only take buy signals. And if the price is below the Kumo cloud, you only take sell signals. But if the price is inside the clouds, you don't take any positions. Let me give you an example. In this chart, we can see that the indicator gave a buy signal. But the price is still below the clouds. So you don't want to take positions yet. Next, you can see that the price is inside the clouds. So you also don't take any positions here. Next, you can see that the price is above the clouds while the super trend is colored green. So this is where you want to take your buy position. And it's exactly the same for our sell signal as well. We only take sell positions if the price is below the clouds and the super trend is colored red. And for our exit strategy, there are actually a couple of ways you can do this. The first one is you can set a take profit or a stop loss. So you close your trade if it reaches a certain amount of profit or loss. You can also close your trade if the price crosses over the clouds. Like in this example. You can see that the candle closed inside the clouds. So you can close your position here. So. I just revealed to you a very simple and effective super trend strategy that is perfect for beginners. And if you want more indicator secrets and strategies that no other channel teaches, you can click the subscribe button because we upload new strategies like this every single week. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.